Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you a great little trick for formatting numbers within text strings. So here we have a number. It's got the format that I like. Life is good. Everything's happy. Now let's say that we want to put this number within a text string in another cell like this. These supplies cost this amount of money. Well, here's how you do it. You type out a formula, so equals, then you put the text within quotation marks, then an ampersand, and then you reference the cell that has the number. But when you do that, you lose all formatting, and that's no good. So there are a few different ways to do that. I will show you three here. The first one is probably the worst, and the next two will be quite easy. Here we have our number, and the traditional way to do it is equals text, just the text function then the value you'd like to format, and then the text format. And this is the most powerful way to do it. You have so many formatting options, it's not even funny. The problem is that you can forget the format text code, because it's basically another language. So I could do this, like this, and we could get a nice little format. But look at that, dollar sign, pound sign, comma, pound, pound and I didn't even get the decimals. So I could try and figure out how to do the decimals and it's a bit of a pain. But if we just want a dollar amount, we have an amazing function, the dollar function. So dollar, you put your number in there and then you tell it how many decimals you want. By default, it will give you two decimals. So you don't have to remember any sort of code thing over here no way, just the dollar function. The last one, it's a great function if you don't necessarily need a dollar sign. You just use the fixed function. So you type the number if you want, or how many decimals you would like, and if you want commas or not. So let's give it two decimals, and let's say false, so that I can have, how did you get in there? False. So I can have commas. We want to kill the commas, just change this to true, and no commas. But then that's basically exactly like what we had before, so maybe I want to kill the decimals, no commas. So you have a little bit of flexibility there. So yes, it doesn't expose, these two functions don't expose everything that text does, but it makes our life easy. And decimals, of course, we could kill them if we wanted to have just a nice round dollar figure. And that's it for three ways to represent formatted numbers within text. 